Hello everyone, Vanguard of Valor here, and welcome back to another episode of Shovel Knight. So, back we are again here with our diminutive warrior, with three more knights to face off against. The Clockwork Tower, the Lair of Tinker Knight, we have the Flying Machine, Lair of Propeller Knight, and we have the Stranded Ship, the Lair of Polar Knight. So, I think we're going to take on Tinker Knight first. I quite like the Tinker Knight stage, it's pretty interesting. It has a very unusual boss fight, which is pretty interesting. We'll see it when we get to it. But we'll see what we do on the way there as well. Acquire ourselves some loot as we throw it immediately off the platform. So this area is all about conveyor belts, amongst other things. There we go, kill ourselves a rat. Find ourselves some loot. Okay. Let's get down here and face off against another rat. Perfect. Find some more loot. That is basically the formula for this whole game, but... It's a surprisingly fun one. Can we... get through here without getting murdered? The trick is, if you're jumping, obviously you don't get grabbed by the conveyor belts. So... That is basically what we're going to be doing to stay alive here. Oh. Nice try there, rat. Ah. Off the ledge with you. Okay. And they're showing some new enemies to us now. Dark wizards who can summon gears, which track along the ground and drop down towards us later. Thankfully... Whoa! That was a really silly death. Thankfully, we're actually pretty good at dealing with them, but we're probably not going to be able to recover that money. Probably not going to be able to recover that money at all, which is a good thing we spent our money earlier. Since it got trapped underneath the platform, and that is a moving platform, our normal tactic of using the fishing rope to recover them is not going to work out very well. Whoop. Which is too bad, but that's why a lot of those money traps are there. They try and get you to kill yourself Ooh, in an attempt to acquire currency and thereby losing currency. So this is one of the first times in this adventure we're going to have to leave our money behind, but there's not much we can do about it, unfortunately. Alright. Now, there's going to be another one of those jerks coming, which we can't actually do much about, but that's fine. They don't hurt that much if they hit you anyway. And over here, I believe, yes there is, there is indeed a secret ladder. Fantastic. If we can ride one of these suckers, we can get ourselves some treasure. Nothing too fancy this time, though, just a little bit of cash. Alright. Well, let's make it out with our lives. Fantastic. Down we go. Time to find out whatever's down here. I bet you, though, I bet you it's a truffle. Is it? And... It is! It's a truffle. That's okay, though, since he normally gives us Troupel Chalice refills for things that are not the health, which is generally what I go for, I tend not to be a huge fan of them anyway. Ow. I did right on that. Woo! Alright, so... We have some more moving pillars, which is really, like I said earlier, what this section is all about. Whoop. Moving platforms and mechanical traps. Can we get out of here with our lives? Yes, we can. Can we continue to get out of here with our lives? It looks like it. I don't see anything in the wall over there, so let's just keep going. Nothing in there either. Good, here's a checkpoint. First of many. Ah, just trying to jump on his head. There we go. Problem solved. We get a little bit low on health, though, so hopefully there'll be some food up ahead. And I believe there is indeed some right here. Woo! Shooting gears at us. car alarms going off in the backyard. Alright, and there's some chicken for us to refuel ourselves with. Fantastic. So, time to move on. Can't let this guy get the best of us. There we go. And there's also an area behind him to go and look into. Come on over here, friend, so I can murder you with a slash. There we go. Grab ourselves some lovely death. Sadly. Some lovely treasure, I was about to say, but then we got knocked into the pit again. Like I said, almost all deaths in this game come from being knocked into pits. 
We'll do our best to not die if we can, but getting pitted is what this game does best. Rather, pitting the player is what this game does best. Let's go take a look back over here. Come on now, one more hit's all I need. There we go. Thankfully, we can recover this money pretty easily. All we need to do is not get killed by the mouse this time. So let's try this way instead. If we go over the top, we can land on the mouse instead of getting knocked off the edge by him. And now he's on the platform we need. Fantastic. So we're going to have to kill him with a little bit more deviousness. There we go. Now we can recover our loot. It's not a whole lot of money, but it's better not to lose any money if we can help it. Okay, now let's get out of here. Could go down and get that health, but we're not going to bother. This area is full of rockets, and the rockets are kind of jerks. On the plus side, though, there's also a good amount of treasure to be had. Alright. These are, however, instant death spikes, so if we're unlucky and fall into one, we might wind up much worse off than we could have hoped. Here we go. Perfect. And we made it out of there unscathed. Lovely. Now to face off against the Red Knight. This guy means business. However, so do we. Alright, anything in here? Why, yes there is. Another secret area, perhaps. Alright. Gather up the loot. Make our way across. And there's Chester waiting for us. Why, hello there, Chester. What do you have to sell for us today? In the village around the field, I have all the deals. Can we afford it, though? Three <laughs> we're a hundred gold short. Oh, that is mean. Okay, well, at least we can use the phase locket to go grab those treasures. And that should let us die. Cool. Okay, let's see if we can get back there, because we need that money now. Otherwise, we're not going to be able to buy the item in there. And I'm sure it's pretty fun to use, but if we're dead, we won't be able to use it. There we go. You're dead. Let's get out of here without dying. Gotta get back to the instant death spikes area, but we should be able to do this without too much trouble. It's not really all that nasty. Drop on down. There we go. Up and up again. Fantastic. Trick is now going to be getting our treasure back because it did fall into a bit of a tricky situation there. But we'll see. I might be able to just fish it all back from here. So we'll give that a try in a second. As we reverse over, we drop our fishing rod down. There we go. You're kidding me, right? Uh, there goes 500 gold. All right, so we're going to need to have another way to get across here now, because otherwise this is going to be a bit of a pain in the butt. Can I dash more than once? Nope. How? I should have just tried to get to that treasure chest before, I guess, but that's mean. I don't really want to waste these either, because I'm imagining I'm supposed to use these large potion bottles to experiment with the new abilities I'm supposed to get. Button. Oh, they're back! Okay, that's good. I thought for a second there they were just lost, and that was going to make me quite upset. <laughs> this game, seriously. Alright, well, let's try the phase locket again. If we can do this without jumping to our deaths, that would be lovely. Activate the phase locket, jump over, phase locket again, jump back. There we go. We got the money now. Just barely we can afford it. Oh, silly. Alright, let's believe what he had in the chest. The mobile gear! Ride over hazards and reach higher places. Fantastic. Alright. Not quite sure how that works, but we got it, so we can try it out. Hmm. Alright, you can ride it across. It also gave us the extra height we needed to get up here, so I'll take it. Interesting. So I guess you throw it down, you jump on, and you sort of ride it. Does it jump? It does jump. Look at that. That's cool. Alright. Well, that was interesting. A little bit more troublesome to get than I would have guessed, but I think it's because of my own incompetence rather than anything else. Get back over here, you. Oop, got stuck in the floor there. Stop jumping into the stairs. <laughs> I keep dropping onto that one spot. 
the one place in the room that'll make me be in trouble if I press down. Man, I'm getting beaten up by this simple red knight. Really badly beaten up, too. There we go. Now he goes. That was a disaster. Alright, let's keep moving. I've got three life left, which is nowhere near what I'd want to be having, but I believe there is health to be had right here. So it's not the end of the world. With some fresh chicken. Fantastic. Let's ride this back out. Gotta have good timing here, otherwise we're gonna be in trouble. There we go. Now we can get across. Hopefully the rockets don't push us to an untimely death. Because, like I said, hitting you is what this game does best. Best and most often, in fact. Kinda should just move on here. That's what I wanted, though. Fantastic. Got ourselves a 200 gold gem, and we should go back, because I believe there's another one in the pit right here. So, we'll switch back to the, uh, hook and see what we find. It's a money fish! Alright. Looking good. Whoop. This is also an interesting place. We have the first introduction of the rollers in here. These rollers will become more relevant later, undoubtedly, but for now, we've seen them. We sort of sink through them. Once you reach the end, you fall out. For now, though, let's go up and get ourselves some more treasure. Some ores in here. Not a whole lot of value in there. Can we use our mobile gear to get across here, perhaps? Gotta be careful, otherwise it's gonna drop us in the pit there. Can get most of it, though. Lovely. Now we can get back in a similar manner. We should probably just run across here, but we're gonna try it one more time. Just to be on the safe side. Fantastic. Didn't get spiked on the ceiling either, so that's always good. Whoop. Got ourselves to a checkpoint as well, so if we do get in trouble, we're right here. Drop down, let's move on. This whole thing looks like it's gonna move. Yes, it is. Alright, let's go. Alright. I don't trust this thing at all. Ah, we lost a little bit of money there, but nothing too serious. Are you gonna stay up there, Knight, or are you gonna jump down on me? I'm not too bothered. Oh, you get dropped down onto me like that. Off you go. Goodbye, Sir Knight. Perfect. We're gonna lose those gems because they're off the edge, but there's not much we can do about that. We did make it. Ooh, nice try for the spike jump there. Just drop on your head. Stab you. Jump on your head. Stab you. Perfect. The power slash is a wonderful thing when it comes for free. Poor little guy. He didn't deserve that. And we got a pair of these jokers. One more hit should take him out for us. If I can actually get up there and hit them. There we go. Can't jump there for some reason. Whatever. We managed, if a little bit ungracefully. I don't think there's any way to get through there, either. So we'll just have to move on and see what else we can find in this place. Ta-da! There's our wall chicken. Alright. Bring it on, sir. There we go. Now this is a bit of a pickle. There we go. What's under here? Who knows? Treasure, it looks like. Let's see if we can get it without dying. A valiant goal at the best of times. What's in here? Probably a tropel? Oh, that was not the right timing at all. There it is. No, it's a fish. I'll take a goldfish any day. And dodge the giant golden gears. Fantastic. What's up here then? Ooh. This looks nasty. Alright, let's get our fire. fire. water. <laughs> what am I trying to say? Ooh, hello. That was just a trap. Jerk game. I was trying to say it was our fire wand ready, but I completely botched that sentence. There we go. There's some more monies. Hit him from here. Nice try there, sir. 
your services will not be remembered. Okay. Now we can kind of bypass this whole section, looks like. I'm okay with that. We should come back and kill this knight, though. Don't want to let him get too cocky about his own strength. There we go. Perfect. We get underneath here? Nope. Onwards to glory, then. Oh! We're in a tower climb section. Alright. Gotta love those auto-scrollers. Oh. We may or may not die in here a little bit. We'll see if we can manage to not die. But there's no promises on that front. There we go. Now what? Whoop! Uh-oh. 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 Oh boy, that was close. Alright. That was a near death right there. Whoop. There we go. Now we should, oh boy, be able to use this to get across to here, and we've made it. Whew, that could have been nasty. I think we're approaching the boss room as well, so we'll grab ourselves the wall chicken we so direly need. Ooh, spin this device. Fantastic, to lower some stairs. Indeed it is. Huh? Did you make all that noise? I can't think straight. I have so much work to do. Just work on letting me pass, little friend. Oh, big words, Tin Man. I'll show you a thing or two. I kind of feel bad for Tinker Knight. He tries so hard. <laughs> I like the music for this fight. It's okay. It's okay, Tinker Knight. No one's going to think the worse of you. Poor Tinker Knight. He's actually hit me surprisingly number a surprising number of times, despite his uh, diminutive stature and little combat ability. Whoop! And that's not all! Dun 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 dun! Now that's more like it. For a Tinker Knight, I like it. Whoop! Climb the missiles! Climb on his lance, and bounce on his head. Oh, messed that one up. It's going to take me a little bit of warm-up to get into the rhythm of this, but there is a very simple rhythm you do most of the time. As you can see, he does try some other tricks, though. But for the most part, this works pretty well. Poor Tinker Knight. Whoop. And he's got two hearts, one heart, dead. Nice try, Tinker Knight. Your enormous mech had a couple little issues there, like being not being able to actually defend you at all, but well fought, good sir. Well fought. Alright. There we go. Time for a well-earned rest, I think. And... We sleep. And the dawn of a new day, put out our fire, and go to work. Anything else change on this world map? Indeed it does. We have a new challenger approaches. Well, why not face off against them before we end this episode? So, hello there. It's very bright here. Cornfield kind of deal. Ooh, now it's very dark here all of a sudden. Hello there. What magic is this? Power, honor, the traits of a respectable warrior. Sir, I don't believe we've met. We meet today on the field of battle. We have both defeated many knights and traveled far. Today, we fight. Stand aside. You and I have no reason to battle. Conflict is a reason unto itself, brave warrior. Today, you will be tested. Are you ready? Well, we'll see. Throws away his cape. Hello, good sir. Your pay is no match for my shovel. No match at all. Oop. Gonna try some fancy maneuvers on me, eh? I got a shovel for that. Oop, he just turned into energy. Somehow I feel like that's cheating, but whatever. Woo! 
Nice moves there with the lightning. Gotta say, got some fancy attacks there. But, so do I. You're down to a single point of health. Goodbye, sir. Nice try. Shovel Knight proves victorious. Your skills are as fast as I thought. I shall follow your journey from the shadows. Farewell, Shovel Knight. Woo! Cash money! 2,000 extra gold. It's a 5,000 gold battle. I'll take it. And then he's gone. Off we go, then. That was quite the duel, indeed. Alright, well, let's head over... Frigid Flight. I don't think we have the item needed for that. for that yet. Let's head back to the city and cash in our music sheets. Oh, there you are, Sir Bard. What do you have to say for these? Wonderful. Let's see here. Oh, you found the Destroyer. I could hardly hear myself think over that cursed tank with all those missiles going off. Now that I have this music sheet, I can perform for you at any time. Just ask. Sure thing, sir. All right, let's get out of here. And let's head back over to Armor Town and buy ourselves a couple different colors of armor, and then we can head on to the next area. Making good... covering good ground, rather. Making good time, was what I was starting to try and say there. Alright, we're about to buy the final two armors. We'll have the entire set covered if we want it. Although, like I said, Dynamo armor is still my favorite. I think this black and red armor does actually give you better defense. But you have a tendency to slide a little bit more than otherwise. I do like the black and red color scheme, though. It's probably my favorite of all the looks of the armors. We're going to switch back to Dynamo. Just because I quite like that two-bounce super attack for free without having to charge up your blade first. All right, well, that's going to be it for now. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Vanguard of Valor here, playing a little bit more Shovel Knight for you. If you enjoyed the episode, let me know what you thought about it in the comments below. Thank you again very much for watching. I look forward to seeing you next time. Until then... Bye-bye.